there are m men and n monkeys where n is greater than m if a man have any number of monkeys in how many ways may every monkey have a master so here in this example there are m number of men and there are n number of monkeys so here n is greater than m means number of monkeys are more than number of men if a man have any number of monkeys and in how many ways may every monkey have a master so here every monkey have a master he is asking the question means monkey is taking a choice so monkey is having choice of man not man is having a choice of selecting the monkey so monkey is having a choice to select the man okay so that so monkey one monkey two monkey three and so on like an n number of monkeys are there mn so each monkey is having a choice like a man here mn so let me write small m here m1 m2 and so on m m so these are men and these are monkeys n monkeys so each monkey have a choice of m mens so we can write this is first monkey will have a choice of m men and the second monkey will have a choice of m men because it's given if a man have any number of monkeys the same man can be here also the same man can be here also it means it's a repetition any number of times can be taken so m3 is also having a choice of m men and so on mn is also having mn so that it's a concept like the number of permutations of m different things taken n different taken n at a time is nothing but m to the power of n by using the formula n, n power r or we can also say that first monkey is having m choices and again second monkey by multiplication principle fundamental principle of counting so number of ways required number of ways is equal to let us write required number of ways is equal to m into m into and so on m how many times you are taking n times so which is equal to m to the power of n so m power n is the answer okay right